I hate you. Hey there, everybody. Just coming in real quick, do a quick little prelude about what's going on tonight. Tonight and every uh, Sunday evening for the foreseeable near, near future, I will be doing these real estate, not just real estate, we'll be, be doing entrepreneur uh, roundtable conversations. We actually started, kicked off the first one yesterday evening, and uh, I really love the one-on-one -on -one component and actually being able to sit down with someone in a one-hour span and actually help them to put the pieces together uh, for what it is that uh, they're going to do in business. It also gives me the opportunity to speak to people in advance to see if there's someone that we would want to work with us in the Jones Capital Group family. Now, there's about 15, 16 of us around the country right now, and we're focusing in. I'm teaching them how to uh, purchase apartment buildings with me. That's our main thing now, is to come in and pick up apartment buildings. And that's what we're going to be going over this evening at uh, 830. So I just wanted to maybe answer a little bit of questions. If you're here looking in uh, on what's going on, hey, just say your name. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you're interested in. Uh, nine times out of ten, we don't get what we want in life because we don't ask or we don't raise our hand, we don't step up to the table. So I've just been providing a format and a platform for people who want to get into this. And, uh, you know, I have about 15 years in real estate now and just life experience uh, more than that, business experience more than that. So I have actually made mistakes where the average person or the new person getting in to this game will probably fall and then quit. But, you know, it's something amazing, something awesome happens when you actually have a mentor, somebody who's already made those mistakes before. And for people who don't understand uh, this whole thing about just making mistakes in life, so many people now are just real talk cowards in life where, you know, one of the sayings that uh, my mentor Les Brown says is that, you know, the guy, you know, you die. So many of us die at 25 and we don't get buried until 65 or 70. So we're going through life for 40, 50 years. And we're afraid to go after our dreams. We're afraid to go after our goals because something happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. Or maybe we saw someone else fail at something. And we think that we have to, we can't do it either. So tonight's call is strictly a entrepreneur roundtable. I'm with one person, and this is not on the Facebook Live. This is actually a separate uh, group that we have. It's called our Boom Boom Room, and you can actually come in, and we can see each other. You can see a group. Everybody's face will be up there on the screen, and you can really get the questions asked or answered that you need. Now, what are the things we talk about in the business and the entrepreneur roundtable? Where some of the things that we talk, we talk about business, and we talk about marketing, we talk about advertising and marketing. Uh, we talk about social media. We talk about direct mail. Uh, we talk about setting up a real nonprofit organization. We talk about setting up a real LLC or, or corporation. Or what's the difference between the LLC and the corporation? We talk about setting up trusts. Uh, why would you set up a trust? We talk about paying for your child's education through something called a self-directed IRA where we could actually flip properties inside of that IRA and receive all of that money tax-free, and it can go to our children's college. It can go to uh, private school. It could go to uniforms. It could go to tuition. It could go to all of these different things. So one of the things that I really love about my life is the people that I've had access to, the people that have come into my life and helped make a difference, the people who, when I was off the mark, actually came in and helped get me right. You know, and you know, a lot of us have mentors, but I don't know how many of us have mentors that are actually billionaires. You know, to have two guys come into my life that really showed me how to think on another level, another level because there are different levels, guys different levels. And if you're looking in, obviously this is something that uh, has caught your attention. Uh, just say hello. Let me know who you are. Uh, say hi. Proper social media etiquette. <laughs> or, you know, or maybe it's, you know, 
the haters out there that are watching us as we go along. But seriously, hopefully maybe you even had a chance, if you have a chance to look at the video we did this morning, and that was something a little bit different. So when I come on, there's basically about three or four different things that I'm talking about. One of them is what I do for my, in my career to provide a living and create a lifestyle of my dreams, and that's, that's real estate investing. I love that. I love real estate. I love the creativity of it. I love being able to work from home. I love being able to work from Starbucks. I love the art of the deal, the negotiations. They call me the closer. My little brother says I'm the negotiator. Um, but that's just something that I love to do, and it earns me pretty good income. Now, on the flip side of that, my purpose is something different. See, you wouldn't, don't even have to pay me to talk about my purpose. And that's the difference. A lot of us get caught up in between what we do for a living and what our purpose is. And that, that living just allows us to make some money, right? Guys, always say hello when you come in. Say hi. Say what's up. Let me know what's going on. I might like to know the people that I have an effect on their lives, being able to take information and wisdom that was handed down to me from a billionaire and I figured it out and told me exactly what to do with these buildings and how to get these apartments and <clears throat> being able to get into these things with like no money down, no income. And to have someone pay us, excuse me, to have an owner pay me whenever we control a property. And that's what we'll be talking about tonight. Tonight's section of the Entrepreneur Roundtable will be real estate. For those of you who don't know me, I'm actually coming to Georgia. I'll be there in a couple of days, and I'll be looking for my dream home down there. So if you, ever, if you happen to be a real estate agent, uh, no, no, I'm, I have a real estate agent I'm going to work with, uh, but uh, I'm looking for a place to call home down in Georgia as well. So, um, so many things that can be done. I'm here to wake people up, to, to, here to talk to your spirit, here to talk to your soul. Because so many times it's that soul that gets lost up in the ego. And it, it's buried down beneath everything. And But it recognizes truth. It recognizes truth when it hears it. So my whole mantra here is no fluff, no magic beans, no smoke screens. I talk about the things that have worked. I'll even talk about the things that have not worked in my life. And I've had some major setbacks in life in this real estate game and it's cost me an awful lot but when you understand the spiritual side also spirituality connecting with your source it teaches you how to bounce back it teaches you how to love yourself it teaches you how to trust yourself and I believe that that is one of the biggest problems that we face in this world. Men and women don't trust themselves. They don't trust the voice inside of them. So they never get to the point of becoming that, not just an entrepreneur, but that man or that woman that we're supposed to be. And fear is the greatest killer. Fears have allowed the cemeteries to become the richest places on this earth. And a lot of times we think after we hit a certain point in life that it's too late, that we can't go back, we can't catch up. We're, I know myself, I used to feel like, and I was in my 30s, I used to feel like I was always behind the eight ball. Well, I've learned some techniques I've learned things to do to overcome that fear. I've learned things to overcome that sense of not being able to trust in myself. I've learned, I've learned how to recognize the voice inside of me as being the God inside of me. And understanding that once I found out this truth about who I was, that all the shackles were released from me. And before you know it, things that I had been procrastinating with all my life, I'm starting to do them. And I was starting to become majorly successful in them. And it's allowed me to go on and make a ton of money. I, I won't even tell you the number. But it's allowed me to not just make it. It's allowed me to know that I can 
even lose it and get it back again because there's certain principles that I follow. And these certain principles are the law, the universal laws. And once I understood that, thank you to Mr. Alan J. Schwab, who was an angel to me, former owner of the Orlando Magic. And he just showed me these things that I was doing wrong. And the thing about it, guys, is that we don't even know that we're doing these things wrong because we haven't been programmed for major success in our life. We've been programmed to sit around and wait. We've been programmed to sit around and watch the next person. Or we've been programmed to be fearful and watch the other person get halfway there. And then when they fail, say, whoops, I'm going to fail too. Well, you know, I've had a paradigm shift over the last decade, and I don't do things the way that I used to do them. I don't fall victim to the ego. I've learned to kill that, and I've learned to correct, connect directly with the God inside of me. I've learned to know that I am. I've learned to know that I've never been separated from anything, let alone the will of God. And that's what my organization teaches. And our thing is, well, if the adults don't get it because they feel like they're too old or they don't want to try and, or they just want to vicariously live their life through someone else, whether it's their child, their grandchild, or a friend. Well, we're here to show people I have a real plan that was handed down to me from a billionaire, two of them. Well, one's a half a billion, right? $500 million he's worth. And I took that, that, those commandments or that big money playbook, so to speak, and I started to do them. And I started to understand now that I could see successes in my brain. So my subconscious mind could really identify and understand the, the success files. And now, you know, I started off with little successes doing some real estate flips, $5,000, $34,500, $30,000, $60,000, $58,000, and it just kept going on and on and on and on. So these are the things that we want to talk about, something that's real, something that's tangible, something that allows you to write down, to get your, get your notepad and your, you get your pen and write down an actual plan for your life and without that plan for your life you're like a ship in the harbor with no rudder on it and all you do is go around and around and around there's no direction there's no guidance and what happens is it's follow the follower it's the blind leading the blind. And a lot of times the blind that the blind that's leading the blind are people that you think because they have a little bit of knowledge in one area that they have it in this area, this realm that we're going to go in tonight, and that's the financial realm. And the one thing that I can say about this is that I never worry about money anymore. And I've used real estate. That's what's done it for me. I've used real estate along with advertising, closeouts, to bounce back from financial ruin. So I'm not one of those guys that are here to tell you that everything was great, everything was great because it wasn't. And I'm here to share my experiences with anyone who has an ear to ear. And my group actually helps other people to Find out what you're really passionate about. And what my claim to fame is this. I can sit down with anyone in five minutes, talking within five minutes of talking. I could put together a package that is based off of your passion, your skills, your gifts and talents from God. And I can show you how to turn it into profits. I can show you how to package it. I can show you how to put the whole business component of it together. I can, for, for, for the Even for the church, I can show not church or nonprofits. I can show you how to tap into that money and to get in the community so that they don't have to do the fish fries, the building funds, you know, any of those things anymore. And that's 
that's what I bring to the table. So I'm going to be coming back in about 15 minutes at 8.30. We're going to not be here on live. I'm going to go into a private room. I'm going to put the instructions to get into the private room on right up probably under this live here. And if it's something that you want to get into, are you open to come into it and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation or two-on-one, -on -one, three or -on one depending on how many people actually come into this room. But for this appointed time right now, I'm going to do this. So it doesn't matter if it's one person in the room, 10 people in the room, or if all 25 chairs in this room fill to capacity. It's time for something different. It's time to seek help, to ask for help. I think that that's one of people's main setbacks in life is that we won't ask for help when we need it. And if help is what you need, I'm telling you that not only my own experience in making money in real estate and business, but the contacts that I have. See, this is what you guys got to understand. It's not just about you. It's not just about me. If you have children, like you should be on these phone calls because at the end of the day, you're supposed to learn this information so that you can pass it down to your children and their children's children so that we can stop these generational curses, this, this, this poverty, this, this poverty mindset that's been plaguing our people for generation after generation after generation. But sooner or later, one day, you're going to have to raise your hand and say, hey, see, so this is whoever it is out there looking and saying, I need help. There's nothing wrong with getting help. This is, yes, Mary, this is all about legacy building. So at 8.30, we're going to meet in my boom, boom room because I don't want to just give it out to everybody that doesn't want it. Every, for, for as long as this is on, Sunday nights at 8.30, we'll do an entrepreneur roundtable. Now, the topic we'll be leading off tonight will be real estate. But if there's something that you specifically need help with, and I'm giving this away, I'm giving this away, then I'll see you in that room about 15 minutes from now. If not, well, I'm going to be there anyway. I have the time blocked off already on my calendar. Maybe you've always wanted to set up your nonprofit organization. Maybe you've always wanted to set up your foundation. Well, I've done that. I've done it and I operate in trust and foundations and I can bless people the way that I want to bless people. But it took me dropping the ego and asking someone for help. Now, more importantly, I can teach this to my kids, my grandkids, and I know that I'm leaving something of substance to them. I know that I'm leaving something of value. I'm not just leaving some bills in a PlayStation. I'm not just leaving some bills in a 55-inch, 60-inch screen TV. The things that seem to be important to most people. Now, I ask that you share stuff like this with your friends. I mean, you know, if it's something with little kids fighting in the street or, you know, something foolish, it's always being spread. But when real comes up, when real comes up, you won't spread that. You'll wait, we'll wait for someone to make a mistake, error, as in we talked about this morning, not sin, but error, just missing the mark mistakes that are learning lessons in life. But as long as 
it's on my heart to continue to give back. And I'm talking about giving back to my community, giving back to my people. I'm going to do what I was called to do. And here's the funny thing. I actually had a conversation earlier this morning with uh, uh, Marcus Mayfield, uh, who's in my group with me. And I said to him, I said, you know, Marcus, I said, I don't need to do this. Not this part here. I don't need to do this. I could be doing something else. I could be watching TV. I could be eating some ice cream, but I don't watch TV. I could be watching Empire. I could be watching Nene. I could be watching Donald Trump. But even though I don't watch TV, I'm just playing. But at the end of the day, this side of it, this is being a humanitarian. This is what being philanthropic means. This is me giving back to anyone that has ears to hear it. So, with that being said, i got about 13 minutes till 8.30. If you need help with your business, if you thought about having a business, if you started a business and it's failed before, you just don't know what to do, you don't understand marketing, you could be in network marketing, I don't care what it is. If you need help, let me put my 15 years of real estate experience and maybe combine it with my 25 years of business experience and help someone else who needs help. Maybe it's for your child that you see is gifted. And he's an entrepreneur, just a junior entrepreneur right there. Maybe you want to team him up. We know how they have the Big Brother program. What if we start getting the Big Entrepreneur program? Instead of me being your big homie, I'll be your big entrepreneur. Isn't that what this is all about? Isn't it about when we get something that each one will teach one? Isn't it about causing a ripple effect in this world? Or is it just about you? Is it only about you, what you can get? And as long as you got what you got, I'm happy. You're happy. I don't want to give up. Man, I ain't giving up. I'm just me. Well, I'm at a point in my life at this time where I made money for me. And now I want to give it away. I, and, and it's not just all in cash or money. It's wisdom. That makes sense. It's wisdom. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to take a little break right quick. And uh, I'm going to come back at uh, 8.30. I'm going to put the directions under there for coming into a private session with me this evening. And uh, if you come, come. If you don't, well, maybe you got something else more important to do than building a legacy for your family. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go get me something to drink real quick. For that reason, I'm out.